Hey, it's Fergie with RecordingCrave.com. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I greatly appreciate it. Hey, in this video, I want to talk to you guys today about removing an unwanted noise from a mix that you have or a track that you have. What I'm going to use to remove this unwanted noise from this track is Isotope's RX-7 noise removal uh, program. And I've used this for several things, mostly in Pro Tools, and that's getting rid of uh, pops and clicks. But I've never used it for what I'm about to show you now, and I just figured this out today, actually. I've had this program probably a year and a half or maybe just a little bit longer, and I've never used it for the full weight of what it can do. And while this is not an instructional video going through Isotopes RX-7, this is just pertaining to this video and how I'm using it for this instance. Here, what I have here is a choir that was recorded with an iPhone, and this is the audio from that video from the iPhone. Now, generally, when I record a choir, I set up professional microphones, take it over to my DAW, which is Pro Tools, and record it that way. However, this year, year 2020, with the COVID-19, a lot of performances of this choir were canceled because of social distancing, lockdowns, and what have you. So the choir directors, what they had done was they contacted a lot of the people that were at shows, particularly parents, and asked if they had any full video of songs that they had performed at a couple performances before they were actually set to record. So what I'm working with here is just that, is a recording from an iPhone. Now, on this recording here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and clean it up, but then I'm going to send it into Pro Tools and EQ it and compress it and to get it to sound a little better than it does. So having said that, there is some noise on this particular track. So let's take a listen to that right now. <laughs> Right there. So the person uh, with the camera was sniffing or or uh, breathing or something there. So we want to move that and get it out of the performance. So let's do this. Okay, I'm going to come down here and select this little tool here. This is a brush tool. So I can push B for brush or click it. And what I'm going to do is run up here, and this reminds me of Photoshop a little bit. You start to uh, circle the area that you want changed. And we'll try that. And I'm going to come over here to uh, Spectral Repair. And I'm just going to leave it on this setting. This might be a setting that I've already used, but we're going to leave it right there. And I'm going to click Render, and if it doesn't work, we can Control-Z it and, and start over. So I'm going to click Render, and you can see the spectrogram change there. Let me click T. That'll get me out of there. So now let's listen to it. Let me grab both tracks, otherwise it's going to play just in one side. <laughs> that's pretty impressive that's very cool i was so stunned i when i started thinking about cleaning up this track with this i had no idea it would work that well so let me put it back and let me play it and let me uh <laughs> redo what we did impressive that is so cool so now my job is to go through there and find all those little spots where that happens and clean it up so hopefully that was helpful and this really it helps to have the spectrogram in where it does show like this is something else this is not so it was when he hit the s it it pops through there but usually when another uh, different noise enters the sound, then you'll see something like that. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Again, maybe sometime I'll do a tutorial on Isotope RX-7 by itself, but uh, I think I would have to really study it as I don't use it a ton, but I am having a huge learning uh, experience which in finding out some 
massively cool things that this thing does. So thanks for watching. I would love to have you subscribe and we will see you in another video.